What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Random Binder Scraps. Chris coming at you with another video, and today we are going to be going over my experience with the Stellar Blade demo. Now we're doing a little bit of time travel. Me and Dunko are posted on up. His mama went out for a night out. We're posted up with Miss Eve here and with Athletic Brewing Company, nice non-alcoholic beer because I'm picking her up later. So I thought, let's play this demo in the style of gaming off the grid. Oh my God, I'm gonna do oh. <laughs> oh my God. I'm gonna do oh. <laughs> oh my God. Off to a great start. Gaming off the grid, I'm gonna just do a very poor job of pouring this. You know, I'm not gonna do the tilt thing. Where's the fun in that? We're just gonna get a nice frothy head there. And uh, I'm gonna enjoy my first non, uh, it's not my first, but basically my first non-alcoholic beer, some PlayStation, some Schnungle with the dog, and some Star Blade. Let's get it. What's going on guys? So I just finished the Sailor Blade demo and I gotta say, this game was already my most anticipated game of the year. Um, that includes Avowed, that includes Indiana Jones, that includes Dragon's Dogma 2. Um, I, from the last State of Play trailer, I was really excited for this game, thinking it was going to be a bit of Horizon, a bit of Bayonetta, a bit of Nier Automata, and it did not disappoint. If anything, my expectations are through the roof. I was worried that it was gonna be like a very small scale, you know, tailored experience, but like, you know, of, you know, worst case scenario, I was like, what could this be? Either like really loose, like slippery combat or traversal. We could have like really inconsistent performance. We could have like an order 1886, uh, type of situation where we have like beautiful cinematic visuals and then you know, it just doesn't hold through. But this looks, I think they've already come out and said it's gonna be a 20 to 25 hour game, um, which is plenty fine for me. And, you know, you can see on the start screen, the visuals are absolutely insane and very consistent from in-engine to, I don't even know how many pre-rendered cutscenes I really saw other than the beginning, but it all meshes together very well stylistically. Um, and I'm not gonna be spoiling anything in terms of story or anything like that, but I will say that they are a lot more violent and gory than I had anticipated for, for a game like this, especially a game that I thought was gonna be a bit campy with some of the fan service that was going on in some of the trailers, but this is the real deal. We've got the, I guess it's not really the alien invasion, the aliens have already invaded, the trying to take back Earth from these alien creature things. It's a little bit of Scarlet Nexus. It's a little bit of Mass Effect. Like, oh my God, you can't go wrong with some of these influences. Obviously Nier, um, I'm intrigued to see like how human Eve is and how much of like a cyborg or an android or whatever she is. But I'm um, curious of what Adam's story is too. He's you know, very robotic with the way he talks. I don't know if that was just the direction that they gave the voice actor, but um, big fan of of what we're gonna see with Eve herself. A uh, huge fan of the, the world building through the text, through the found corpses, stuff like that. Hello, Duncan. And, uh, you know, the, yeah, the visceral combat, the bloody cinematics, like losing limbs, blood everywhere. Um, very dead space in terms of like the mangled corpses you find with their messages and stuff like that. So absolutely thrilled for that. and. The combat. The combat is everything I wanted. Um, one of the buddies on Discord said that it was a little slower than he was anticipating. And for me, that's great. It's that perfect combination of like, not quite Souls-like, not quite, um, for me, I'm not as much of like a Souls-born person just because I got my ass kicked in those early games, but Lies of P really caught me this past year. So um, it's kind of like that in a way. It's a little bit slower than that. Um, and it's definitely slower than like something like Bayonetta. But for me, Bayonetta just puts me to sleep. It's just like mash, 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 mash. There's a lot of substance to this. There's a lot of impact to the heavy strikes. You feel quick and fluid on the quick strikes. 
Um, the counter, the parry, and the dodges is very satisfying. You get like a similar uh, backflip, backhand tuck, whatever you want to call it in the gymnastic world for Eve, similar to Bayonetta. And you know, the parry just feels so satisfying. It took me a little bit to get it down. So if you're trying this demo for the first time and for some reason are listening to me, highly unlikely. Um, I would recommend once you get to the point where you can do a bit of a tutorial, uh, not tutorial, like the fight room for when you get the blink, I think they force you to upgrade to get the blink um, ability right before you know a big fight. So I would just practice your parries, practice your perfect dodges. Um, it went a hell of a long way. I think uh, the good news is for the the final boss of the encounter, I think I got on my second or third try. That first one, um, for whatever reason, I forgot to rest at the rest stop, so I was going in with one health potion. But once I got the rhythm down, like the perfect parry, perfect parry, um, that stagger, like it is so satisfying for someone who does not excel at Souls games. Um, Liza P is like the first one I've really been able to get through the first level. Bloodborne, I spent longer in the character creator than I did actually in combat. I was just getting wiped left and right. Dark Souls 1 is like a, a bittersweet um, memory of, of really like, enjoying that first level and then just getting one hit and then losing so much progress. So um, I'll definitely be checking out those games in the future. They're on my list. Like I have uh, DS1 and 2 for Xbox, so I'll be playing those and I'll be finishing up Liza P. But this feels like the perfect, um, it feels kind of like Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, where it's like that, that pinky toe into the soul genre. But in this case, you're not even losing, I don't know what you're losing, you might be losing coins and stuff like that, but you're not losing all your XP, you're not like sweating trying to get all of, all of your, your lost goodies back. So um, the production value, amazing. The soundtrack, the soundtrack, the background music, the vocals, like, absolutely stunning you'd think with me getting lost a little bit in one of the environments you'd think i would have got sick of the music but i was grateful that it was there it's so good it reminds me of near automata in that regard where the music always swells at the right moment um so so far so good let me just make sure i'm still recording i am so so far so good in that regard story wise it looks really promising from all the trailers the only thing that concerned me a little bit and I'm kind of over it at this point, is Adam, his delivery is so flat and robotic, and I, I have to believe that it's on purpose, because it, it's not inconsistent, it's extreme, like, every word he says in the cutscenes is, like, Eve, what are you doing? You're going to have to go to the Hall of Record, like, it's, it's confusing, so I guess maybe we'll find out he's a machine, I don't know, man, that's, that's above my pay grade, but, um, I'm... That trailer, once you beat the you know the final enemy of, of the demo, and it kicks into like the full like rock music going. Um, you know, I'm a big marketing guy. Big splashy trailer showing all the different enemy encounters, the different environments, the different outfits. Which I'm less of the target demographic for that. But for all y'all that can't wait to accessorize, go crazy. Um, I can't say enough how excited I am for this game. They popped on that. What is it? April 28th, April 26th, 24th, something like that. They popped that number on the screen and I could not wait. I wish I went from being like, oh, I wonder how long this demo is to being like, let me play the rest of the game right now. And I don't usually like that. I don't even usually play demos like that. But um, when I heard you could carry over progress, I was like, let me just double check before I don't pre-order many games these days. I'm in day one. The pr The... The frame rate super consistent, felt super responsive. Once I got my parry down, um, I had no issues there. And like I said, I'm not very good at these games. So that's saying something coming from somebody like me. So um, yeah, what else is there left to say other than great music, great combat, insane visuals, uh, potentially incredible story. Like it's the full package. It really does feel that the Sony uh, Sony Studios logo popped on in the beginning, gave me chills. I was like, oh my god, I haven't seen this since, I think since God of War Ragnarok. And I was like, this feels like the polish. This doesn't even feel like Liza P, I love it. It feels like a little bit lower budget. This feels top notch, Sony first party like game, you know, from, uh, from Shift Up. So if they knock it out of the park, that is a remarkable first showing from this team. So. Uh, absolutely excited. If you if you made it this far and you haven't played the demo, go check it out. It's free, your progress carries over. 
I'm not like, uh, I don't even know. Yeah, I'm not a shift up mark representative. I'm not a Sony like marketer, but like you gotta, you gotta experience this for yourself because it'll get you as excited as it got me. So thank you so much for staying this long and uh, hearing about what is probably one of the best demos I've ever played. And uh, you know, now starts the countdown to when this game actually comes out. So until then I got some, some backlog to clean up. I got some Final Fantasy 16 to finish and uh, you know, I got a dog to walk, but thank you so much for checking out this random binder scrap and stay tuned for the next one. Catch you in the next one, later.